today we are changing the rear tire on my YZ250X. We have a race Sunday at Pruitt Mountain. And the knobbies here are in not so great shape. So we're going to freshen her up. I got a fresh Dunlop AT81EX. Let's get this bad boy on. So, to change a dirt bike tire, these are the tools that I use personally. It makes life a lot easier. So first, I use just a simple tire stand right here. I use the Bead Buddy, three tire spoons. I like the Motion Pro because they're less likely to pinch a tube pair of gloves a bead breaker here's some extra spoons in case you need it I have the Baja no pinch tool and I tell you right now this thing is worth every penny it makes changing tires so effortless and easy I also use this for pulling the tube through the rim use this bad boy here to take the valve stem out and I have Dawn dish soap and water mixed together to make sliding the tire over the rim a lot easier. I also use a 12 and a 10 millimeter socket wrench. So first things first, we have to get the tire on the stand. Today I'm just gonna show you how to do tubes only and I run heavy duty tubes because that's the only thing you should run the other tubes suck you hit a rock and they pop So my GoPro died. When you do this, always make sure you're not pinching your tube. So then you take the no pinch tool.
now we can take the V buddy out. Far enough along here. Before I get this last little lip on here where the rim lock is, I'm going to push the rim lock in so that the tire seats right where it needs to with the rim lock. Bang, just like that. The more and more you use this thing, the better you'll get with it, of course. It's like anything. As far as a one-man quick tire change, that was effortless. So then after that, I will... I'm not going to tighten up my rim lock yet but I am going to tighten up my tube just a little bit well, it's not all the way tight yet now I'm going to put the valve stem core back in Typically, when you first put it on, you can see the line ain't all the way even all the way around. This here. So, you do your initial pump up. And I'll generally put a little more soap water on it, just dock dawn with water. Just to kind of help that tire. You know, typically, when you first put it on, you can see the line. doing this very long. It's probably only like my I don't know, fifth tire change on a dirt bike. And I can say that bigger tires are so much easier than them little bitty pit bikes. Or little bikes in general. Kids bikes, pit bikes, whatever you want to call it. Those little rims, man, those things are so tough. There's times too when I'm doing this to help get that tire to pop out where it's supposed to be, where it's all even all the way around, I'll take my rubber mount and just tap it, tap it and push on it to get it to set properly. You can see it's bubbling here. That's just the tire pushing out where it's supposed to be. And that, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install a brand new tire. Good times, good times. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you want to see me working on other things. I'm not very good at it, but I always give it a go. I'd rather just try to do the stuff myself and figure it out. I mean, riding dirt bikes, you got to know how to work on your stuff. You have to. It's a must. Anyway, please like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next rip. We got some good stuff coming soon.